Virtualize Everything, where we strive to inform and educate the viewer about technology and technology-related topics. Tonight's video presentation is going to be about installing the QEMU Guest Agent on Linux guests inside your Proxmox server. Proxmox's own literature quotes, The QEMU Guest Agent is a helper daemon which is installed in a guest. It is used to exchange information between the host and the guest and to exchange commands in the guest in Proxmox VE. The QEMU guest agent is used mainly for two things. To properly shut down the guest instead of relying on ACPI commands. To freeze the guest file system when making backups. So this is something that if you're going to be running like a desktop VM or other VMs that you're going to be starting and shutting down frequently that you may want to install. One good situation is if you're doing home lab penetration testing or something, your version of Kali Linux, you may want to install this on. I have successfully run operating systems for over a year without this, but it is something that Proxmox recommends that we use for the obvious reasons. So let's go over to our web interface and begin looking at how to install QEMU Guest Agent. So I have already gone ahead and made a clone of the Ubuntu desktop and set this up I have titled it video but this is the VM that we're going to be working on today so we can start it and open our console like we would any other VM to begin working with it Okay, now that we have booted into our Ubuntu desktop version, we're going to go ahead and navigate to our terminal. Now that we're in a terminal session, there is only one command that we need to run after we have made sure that we have updated our repositories. The command that we need to run is sudo apt install qemu guest agent. Now I kind of lied when I said one command. There's actually two commands. After this installs, we're going to shut the system down change some settings in the Proxmox web interface, boot it up, and then we have to start the QEMU guest agent at that point. All right, now we can go ahead and shut down our VM. And here at our web interface, we're going to go to options and this QEMU guest agent, we're going to highlight, hit edit, and I am going to select just the first one. Now, if you read the second one, it's a process that is done when, when VM migration happens. I do not have a cluster, so I will not be migrating VMs. Someday I hope to have enough servers to demonstrate processes like VM migration. But as of right now, we do not. So we're going to just click the first one. 
the QEMU guest agent and click OK. Now that we have done that, we can go ahead and reboot our VM. And we're going to head back to our terminal session. But this time, we're going to enter sudo systemctl start qemu guest agent and if you don't make typos you're all good press enter we're going to enter our password here and you notice that we instantly get a command prompt and that means that we have started the QM guest agent now we are good to begin using the QM guest agent as we start up, shut down, and back up our images or VMs inside of our Proxmox VE server. So we have finished installing and setting up our QEMU guest agent inside of our Proxmox VE environment using a Debian distributed Linux operating system. We used Ubuntu tonight. If you liked tonight's video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to help virtualize everything, bring more informative and educational content to you in the future. As always, have a good night.